Shea Bear here. So, happy Good Friday to you all. So, if it don't rain, this is my plan for today. I'm going to burn this stump out later this afternoon. It's kind of early in the morning yet. Uh, we're going to burn that stump out of there. So, I went across the street here. And I got me some little bit of firewood. I'm going to get more tons of it over there. I'm going to get more and I'm going to uh, make some steaks on the grill. Like I said, if it don't rain, it doesn't look that bad right there, but if you look out through that way, it's really gray. It doesn't look that bad there. But down that way, it's pretty gray. It looks like it may be clearing up a little bit down this way. But up through here, it's starting to get a little darker and back in there. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get that done today or not. But I'm going to give it a try. Uh, may sleep out in the tent tonight. But you can smell it, you know, like in the air. Um, it's like, like you smell like a dampness, you know, right before it rains what it feels like I thought I felt a drop or two a minute ago but um, we'll just have to see the winds kind of breezy if you guys look clouds are moving somewhat fast so that could do one of two things it could blow the clouds away whatever rain we may be getting it may blow it away or it could blow more rain clouds in which I would not complain it did rain the other night a little bit not a lot but we need the rain because I mean just everything's so dry around here so yeah we could use the rain um, so it's rained one time in like two months that we can consider a rain but so yeah, so I'm just going to be doing some vlogging today. Uh, I just take you with me throughout my day, what I'm going to do, and uh, things like that. Yeah, I didn't do much yesterday. I didn't, didn't even upload a video yesterday. I didn't even film yesterday. Uh, so I kind of took, yesterday I took it pretty easy. I wasn't feeling that well. Um, I had it had a headache so I kind of just hung around with monkey all day yesterday uh, she gave Bruno a bath and you know did a couple things around the house but we just kind of hung out yesterday together so so yeah man we'll just have to see have to see how the weather goes um, but I've got enough to get a fire going but I don't have enough to burn that stump out because we was talking about having a fire tonight and uh, we both thought the same thing, you know, well, why don't we burn this stump out? Because I, I started to one other time. It actually started raining and put my fire out. So that's what that black stuff is there before it could even get the stump started. So, but we'll just go from there. I'll be back with you guys. I'm sure we'll get into something. <laughs> He's waving. She stopped back. Uh, she ran to the store and grabbed a couple things. She had a few minutes. Uh, we did get some paper towels. Some toilet paper. We got some toilet paper. Uh, she got Bruno some treats and I don't know. Got me some cigarettes. So she does that when she's got time. She'll she'll run the store in the morning um, because she's going to be out anyway and you know we're still under stay at home order so you know we're trying to do our part so there wasn't no sense in going to the store yesterday for a couple things when she was going to be out today because she has to work um, but I haven't been Shoot, even before we was on the stay-at-home order, I was staying at home. I went somewhere like twice. Um, since the stay-at-home order 
I haven't been anywhere. I think I went to the store once. Uh, yeah, I went to the store. We wore masks. She wears her mask when she goes to the store, when she goes to patients, all that. Um, so, you know, we're trying to do our part. Um, so, New York and California, you know, they're getting better. So, uh, problem was when New York started doing the stay-at-home order, quarantine, whatever you want to call it. And they started doing that. They, they was all coming down here. And, uh, you know, nobody, nobody's listening, I mean, you know, just all day long. I mean, a lot of people is, don't get me wrong, but most of them's not, you know. I still hear airboats. I heard an airboat earlier this morning, and we're still under a stay-at-home order. Um, like anybody, before, before this county got the stay-at-home order, they was asking anybody, you know, over a certain age, the elderly, and anyone with heart conditions like me, you know, to stay at home. Uh, I forget what they called it. It wasn't self-quarantine, something like that. So, you know, I did. I did. I went to a couple places. I went to the store. Um, and I got, went and got them tools that one day. So, the past two months, I've been out like four times. Um... Cause I'm trying to do my part, you know. Uh, like I said, yesterday was a real beautiful day, but you know, we just, you know what I mean. They ask us to stay at home, and then you get these people. Well, they 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 can't make me stay at home. It's against my constitutional rights, kinda. But when it comes to public safety and your safety, which you are the public, you know, it, I know, I understand. I get a little stir crazy sometimes too, but I find something to do, you know. I mean, I get Bruno, I take him walk for around the, you know, around the perimeter of the yard, you know, a couple times. It does kind of suck, but when you weigh it out, <laughs> you know, what's better? You know, it's just best to stay home, you know what I mean? Uh, some people's got worse off than us, you know. Uh, some places they couldn't even go outside. And, uh, you know, like the bigger cities and stuff. Because, you know, you go outside, like New York, you know, you go outside, there's people on the streets, there's, you know, your neighbors, your houses are built right onto each other, pretty much, you know what I mean? So, so we're, we're fortunate, at least we can go outside, enjoy the backyard, hopefully if it don't rain, it, it looks like it may be clearing up. Um, you know, we're going to have a fire out here in the front yard, so... Um, things are starting to look up, but I just heard this morning, well, it was on last night's news, but I got it this morning, um, 17 million people out of work, you know, and we just, you know, when things get this bad, guys, we just gotta, we all gotta do our part, you know, and, uh, you got YouTubers filming, going shopping, you know, they're going viral, because they're shopping, and, you know, I understand you need some things, but we're talking, they're just going doing their weekly shopping, you know. It's like, uh, you know, we've stocked up. The only thing we've ever had to go get is some toilet paper, of course, or, you know, soap, you know, shampoo, see, no. But, like, you know, like monkey needs shampoo or something. But then water, you know, pick up water or whatever, and, um, you know, just little things here and there um but she usually does that on the way home from work i got a battery light blinking damn it so anyway enough of the brand or whatever you want to call it um we should just all do our parts and like i said past two months i've been out like four times and that's it <laughs> so i'm trying to uh but you know i'm fortunate enough i got projects to do around here to keep me busy some people don't have that and you know uh, so I'm, I'm fortunate. So anyway, guys, let me get you charged up or grab another camera. I'm going to put this stuff in the house. We'll go from there. See what we're going to get into next. Okay, guys, we're back. Went across the street over here. There's a big-ass tree. I thought it was broke up more than this, but it's not. It's going to need cut up. But 
I'm going to cut some of this up. I did find a little bar and chain oil. Damn, this was zoomed way in. Come on, monkey. Uh, for the saw, I'm going to cut some of this up. It still looks like it's going to rain. But if it don't rain here within about an hour, I'm going to go ahead and start this fire. But I'm going to cut some of this up and get it ready to put on there. what's going on with this thing randomly shutting down I don't think it's fuel huh. all right good enough for now we're gonna get a fire started here in a minute so, the chainsaw is getting gas. The question is, is it getting too much? I don't think so. Uh, it wasn't blowing black smoke or, you know, it just didn't act like it was. I'm thinking the spark plug may be fouling out on it. Just the way it's just like shutting. Just like you're shutting the switch off and back on. So, I'm not going to check out today, but that will be our next project. So, <laughs> I know it was going to be the axe, but really need to get the chainsaw going. It's a lot easier to use that saw than the axe, but oh well, it is what it is, right? We'll figure it out. I don't know, it just kind of, also, it kind of feels like there's, like it lost compression, so I'm not sure about that, but that'll be our next project. We'll go over it. First thing we'll do is check for spark. If it's got spark and I know it's getting gas, then... You know, probably have to pull the jug off of it, the head off of it, and see, you know, see what's going on with the cylinder and piston. I don't know. We'll find out, though. Okay, guys, we're going to try to get a fire going. I think I'm going to do it over here. So. And I don't know if I ever did a review on this or not, but it's called Wet Fire. I thought I'd give it a try for starting tender. I got enough stuff to start a fire here with. If this don't work, 
the wet fire. I'm going to use this. You're supposed to be able to use this in damp and windy conditions. Monkey just pulled in. So, there's Monkey. So, I'm going to say hi to her. And, <laughs> and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, I got you down here. Hopefully a little closer. Maybe you can see better. Um, you should be able to see that, alright. I'm going to open this up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my striker. Seems to work pretty good. So let's get this opened up. It's just a smaller version of those bigger tablets I got. It's kind of hard to kind of hard to light with a with a striker but let's give it a shot if that don't work we'll use this light that to light the wood okay let me zoom you in there a little bit closer shit can't hang on to that Okay, so it does light very easily. We didn't need this. So. Alright, let's put some. I forget what I gave for this. Seven or eight bucks. I think it was Walmart. But this this tablet, I guess, will burn for five minutes. So. Just got some punky wood here. here I don't need to save that I've got plenty of that stuff most of this wood is like really dense real it's uh well it's kind of rotted you can see there you know so it won't it won't take long the reason why we're having it out here is oh I mentioned that already didn't I we're gonna try to burn this tree stump out because last time just as it got going it started raining on me so I'm gonna grab some more sticks and stuff and I'm gonna throw on here and we'll get this party started hang tight so as you can see behind me Got the fire going pretty good, so hopefully we can kill two birds with one stone. If I can get enough coals, I'm going to cook some steaks with the coals or cook it over the fire or whatever. And uh, burn the stump out, so I think I've got plenty of wood for now. And of course it always has to fall over on me. I'm going to take care of that and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, we've got our we've got our T-bone steaks here. Put them on. I've got potatoes, mushrooms, and onions cooking in the cast iron skillet inside the house. So we're gonna go ahead and let these cook up. But first, I need a barbecue without barbecue sauce, right? And I am just about out. I thought I had another jug in there, but I don't. But it'll give it some flavor, right? Alright. I think there's enough to do the other side too, so. This is just that cheap stuff craft um, I usually make my homemade but I did not do that and I don't know why I should have because I planned this since last night I could have made it earlier today and showed you guys how I do it but anyway okay pretty good it's about 350 degrees so let's let them cook for a little bit give them a couple minutes on each side because the fire is not that hot I want to get them 
internal temperature about 160 ish but it's up to you if you want them rare or medium rare I like mine medium rare I think she likes hers uh, medium medium rare to medium so anyway let's let them cook see what we come up with Looking good. Okay guys, so here we go. This is my play already made monkeys. She's in the house getting ready to eat, so I just brought this out for better lighting. Um, I put hers at about 160, which makes it about medium. This is medium rare. This was, I think it was 153, 154, right in there. About 150 is medium rare. If you, if you want rare, it's between 140 to 143. So, but um, that's rare. Um, but this is medium rare. It's about 153. So uh, I love that that fork thermometer I got because it'll beep, but it'll let you know like if you want well, it'll be blinking like rare, and then it'll blink medium rare, and then you know medium, and you know what I mean. So, but yeah, there you go, guys. And there's um, there's my mushrooms, potatoes, and onions all mixed up together. Just fried in a, in a skillet, in a cast iron skillet. So, there we go. Whoops, sorry. So, there we go. I'm not going to taste test it for you. Uh, to me, that's kind of boring. I hate to watch people eat and hear them eat. So, but there it is. If it tastes bad, I will kick you back on. But if it don't, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. My vlog, hanging out around the house, getting the fire going, dragging some wood over, cutting it up. Stay tuned for our next project. It'll be the chainsaw. I'll figure out what's going on with it. So, uh, again, happy Good Friday. Hope you all have a happy Easter. And uh, have a safe weekend, Easter Sunday. So, there we go. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Shea, <laughs> appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, folks. Take care.